Julian from Julian Tech TM and today I have the RTX 3080 unboxing. I got the RTX 3080 30. That's right, I have the Zotac and Gigabyte version of the RTX 3080 courtesy of Aftershock. They're gonna have their 3080 builds for their custom PCs so you can buy them. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't test the RTX 3080 because of embargo issues. But you know what I can do? Unboxing, yes. But okay, let's open up the Trinity and then it's not open like that. Ah, fair, fair, huh? fair, fair. Take out. I can do this. What the hell is yeah? I scared to break it. Eh. Can you know, right? You know, you go to the supermarket, they ask, you got member? I got member, okay. Then you know, they ask, you got passion card? I also got passion card. Oh! The membership works. First unboxing, doing great. Ta-da! Ziploc bag. It's like, you know, you open Pokemon card, then got shiny one. Ah. Wow! Look at the sticker. Can add to my guitar collection. Installation guide. How about the Gigabyte? Ta-da! Now their manual is more envelope yeah. Pamphlet that tells you about warranty and the quick guide. It doesn't matter because you know what matters? I'm free! This. Take this out first. Go boom! Foam! Boom! <sighs> We have power adapters, that's about it. It's a bit messy, but never mind. Anything below? Nothing. Oh. 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 I did talk about these two cards already in my price prediction and looking at it in real life no RGB on the top like the 2080 Super so it's very much like the 2080 Ti and then the thing is it will run better than the 2080 Ti the Gigabyte on the other hand it is how it looks like uh. it has the audio jack to hear the graphics play me Play me. One thing that I realized is that the Zotac and the Gigabyte are not using the 12-pin power connectors. They are still using two 8-pin connectors, which is one thing that I was very concerned with the Founders Edition because the Founders Edition power input is in a weird position in the middle. And if you don't have a power supply with a 12-pin, you need the adapter and the adapter will stick out very... Uh, ugly. So with this, you still can use your existing power supply. I can't do any performance tests now, but you know what? I can put it in a PC and see how it looks. So here's the build, the Gigabyte RTX 3080 has an Intel processor and on my right, the Zotac 3080 has the AMD processor. I wish I could show the performance but cannot yet. So you can see the Zotac RGB is really bright at the sides and the back of the graphic card is lighting the logo pretty nicely I'll say. On the other hand, for the Gigabyte, you have minimal RGB. Julian from the future here wanted to add some Singapore RTX 3080 news to this unboxing video. All the big YouTubers RTX 3080 reviews have been released and to summarize it, the RTX 3080 does 20% to 40% better than the 2080 Ti depending on the game. The only game that the 3080 is twice as fast as the 2080 Ti is Quake 2 RTX and Minecraft RTX. But it's still the fastest graphic card on the market and even if the card is $1,500, it's still worth getting compared to the 2080 Ti in Singapore. And yes, I did say $1,500 for the 3080. I explained the price in my last video. You can watch it by clicking on the information icon on the top right. And I'm doubling down on my prediction. Supplies in Singapore is going to be super low like how it has been during the 1000 series launch. And I can't even get a quotation in Simbin Square because apparently people already pre-ordered at stupid high prices. Way to go on spoiling the market. But yeah, RTX 3080 is the most powerful graphic card that's cheaper than the 2080 Ti. Can't wait to build my dream PC with the RTX 3080. Stay subscribed, hit the bell to get notifications once that build is up. And now back to the main segment. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you Aftershock for giving me this opportunity to have a first look on these cards in Singapore. I really can't wait to bring one home and to test it and to play games. Uh, one thing that I'm really psyched to do is to test AAA games like Death Stranding. Death Stranding has been pushing my 2080 super to the max already and I want to push it more if I want to play 4K. Wow, I, just, I just can't wait. Man. I just can't wait. But other than that, I think I'm done. Hi, Dan. <laughs>